Dr. Contaxis, it's great to see you again. Thanks for joining us. Thanks so much for inviting me. First off, what is the latest at Eisenhower? So we're seeing a COVID increase as expected, and we're anticipating an, an ongoing increase as predicted by some of the um, you know, epidemiology uh, modeling post-Christmas. So we have about 160 patients in patients right now with about 26 in the ICU. Um, we are still able to manage the volume we have. Um, staffing is always a challenge and we are uh, meeting regularly to look at how we might expand should the numbers uh, increase as expected. Recently, the chief medical officer for Eisenhower said that the hospital was planning to convert another wing of the hospital for coronavirus patients. How much more can the hospital expand and have you had to treat patients in hallways or office areas like some hospitals in LA County? Uh, and if not, do you think that the hospital will ever get to that point? Well, I'm hopeful we won't. Um, I think we are have contingency plans and we did open up another unit for COVID and we've moved uh, beds around. We have the option to expand some of other areas that were treatment areas that are now being used for other purposes. We'll move, convert them back to treatment areas. And, and of course, with that comes a need for staffing. That's our big issue right now is making sure we have the staff to take care of the volume of patients we anticipate. And speaking of staffing, recently we learned that more than 100 Eisenhower employees were not working because of exposure to the virus. Right. How challenging is that for the hospital when it's dealing with the most amount of COVID patients and also ICU admissions in the county? Well, we're, we're, we're pulling nurses and physicians from other areas to help um, with admissions. I know uh, some of our nurses that have gone into administrative roles are now going back into clinical roles. Everybody's trying to chip in the best they can. We are uh, going over ratios if needed with the permission of the state. Um, and we're doing the best we can to take care of everybody. And I think we're doing a great job of it. It's just a challenge. We, um, we may see patients in hallways temporarily in the emergency department. We're hopeful that we can avoid that as much as possible. But again, we are, we're building a, a tent for, uh, to open up a little more space for patients that are COVID suspect to avoid cross-contamination because we don't want them all in a small area. So we're really looking at all of our options to uh, make sure we keep the community safe and uh, take care of them. You know, we don't wanna ever say we can't take care of our community. Is that tent going to be in the parking lot? It'll be right across from the emergency department entrance uh, when we're just working out uh, in anticipation of the need for that. We'll be able to evaluate patients with a nurse and physician out there and uh, do a screening test. And then from that point, uh, assign the patient the proper area. What's the latest with securing help from the county or the state? You know, I'm not familiar with exactly what options we have. I know we've gotten some uh, ICU nurses. I think we're looking uh, at some traveling nurses that are coming on board for the emergency department and for the inpatient side. And we're trying to internally move patients from the clinics and some of the areas that have had to close down because of COVID to taking care of patients in inpatient. Quick alert. Part two of my interview with Dr. Contaxis is Eisenhower dealing with staff who refuse to take the vaccine and is oxygen supply an issue at the hospital?